How are you? I'm fine, thank are you. How are you? Doing? Good. You? You've been avoiding interviews, kiddo yake. What's up with that? Is that part of the interview? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sour, sour. It's idea to do co wax, come a cow. I've not been avoiding, I just didn't have anything to push. So I was I've, I've been, I was waiting for something to push then I can be. Okay. Instead of taking up the space for someone else who actually might have something to push. That's my philosophy. Did I? Yes, you did. When? I the whole of last year, but uh, you had content. I would just, it wasn't possible. Even your sunglasses can be content. It wasn't. Even your hair can be content. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You've interacted with people like um, online a lot. You're like always up on Instagram, on Twitter, talking to your fans and whatnot. I can so, do better. <laughs> I can how, do better. How is that for you? Like um, hearing the responses and what people are telling you. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's great. It's it's one of the things I've always said is. Usually, you know, back in the day, you used to have to have a middleman yeah. between you and your fans, but that's no longer the case. If you can have a direct connection, you get that direct feedback of, you know, what they want to hear and what, what the pulse of the nation really is. Even as a creative, it gives you a good base to work with. And I think it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. So, until recently, you said that it is the worst advice that you can ever give to someone. Yeah. What is the worst advice that you've ever received? Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of bad advice. I can't pinpoint one that was bad, but yeah. there's a lot of bad advice floating around. Uh, I don't know. Fake it till you make it. It just just doesn't work for me. It just puts a lot of pressure on everyone to try and pretend like they're rich or like they're. You know, everyone is really trying so hard when everyone, everyone is pretty much broke. Yeah. Why are we all trying to force and trying to insist? It's not worth it. That's what causes people to have depression. There's so much suicide going on. But we're not here to talk about that. I'll digress too much. <laughs> I'll probably put that in a song. Yeah. So what are your plans for 2019? New music? What's coming? New music, coming? album, definitely. Uh -huh. um, a lot of collabs. Yeah. Uh, I know, you know, when I was coming back, I had to take time to really break myself out of from the group labeling myself as a klepto to being just me. So that I had to do a lot of solo stuff, you know. And of course, people kind of felt like, man, you don't want to work with anyone, which is not true. So this year, I'm gonna go hard with the collabs. I'm looking forward to working with different kind of people. It's gonna be awesome, and my album is coming out. Awesome, we look forward to that. Thank you. mentioned Klepto, yes. and I'm wondering what's the difference between the Nyashinsky with Klepto and the Nyashinsky of yeah. today? Yeah. Ah, age? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Definitely. Definitely age. Um, longer dreads. Longer dreads. Um, Kizungu kwa song. Kizungu kwa song. I think, just growth, I think. Uh -huh. You know, a 10-year gap is, you know, you're not the same person you were 10 years yeah, ago. Yeah, so all of us, you know, unless there's someone who was 9 years old, and of course are all so of us, there's, there's, you, it, it gets, with time you grow, you change, you see things differently. I've lived a bunch of life, you know, just as a normal person, not being, you know, behind the cameras looking at me like this, just being a nobody. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's great. It's great. It's, I, I have a different perspective of life now. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Kuna so many wanna be artists when you only one hit song then an apotea. What is your advice? I think the advice is to always try to, to, to lead, not follow. Try to lead like the narrative. Try to try to try new things. Show your fans like hey I wanna try this. Some things will not work, you know, some things will work. And when it works at the end of the day, you come out with respect. People will respect you for trying, at least. I think that's the difference. Sometimes, and sometimes it's not even an issue of advice. Sometimes maybe it's budgetary restrictions or health. You know, someone might do a song, then find out something's wrong with them, they can't sing anymore. So it's not always a guy's a one hit wonder and he's done. So it's different things, but I think leading is, is important as an artist. Yeah, because once, you're, once people put you in a box and you stay there, that's slow death for you as a creative.